Hi there, it's Emerson at Tyrium Games. Uh, I've just got a quick update for you. Um, I've uh, I've made a, a little a little uh, Ooh, power up. Uh, obviously, if you're playing single player, ah, oh, there we go. So when they die, it spawns a little heart, and as you can see down the bottom, I've got a tiny little heart bar, a health bar, that'll power up when you go over the hearts. But what's cool about that? Uh, I've also put in a. What are you got to mess with him for? He's just always picking on that <laughs> robot sentry. Over here, buddy. Can't decide. Let me help you. So he didn't spawn a heart. Uh, what will happen? Hopefully. Done with you. This ain't over. Hey, there you go. You can beat the hearts out of them. <laughs> so it's kind of, I'm trying to kind of in encourage people to uh, to brutalize the poor corpses. So he won't give up another heart now. Uh, it's only, it's got to do once. But if you're prepared to, uh, you know, stab and chop the uh, <laughs> the guys until they're covered in decals and and blood is everywhere, um, because I think that's one of the fun parts of uh, what I've made so far. Now the the physical blade actually blocks the uh, hit detection sometimes, so I'll have to probably make the hit detection just a little forward of the blade, because uh, to get the physics, so you can push them around. Uh, but yeah, so what that looks like. Ah, oh yeah, the transform thing. Errors on my um, hit detection transform. Uh, it's throwing up a bit of an error that I've got to sort out. I don't think it's, it just says it's the wrong scale. So I'll figure that out. That's no big deal. But uh, what we've got, um, it's very simple actually. Uh, so to start with, I'll show you the heart. What we've got is the, the heart, which is a blueprint. And in the... Um, I don't know why that wasn't compiled. So there's the heart. Uh, all it is is a, a, a mesh that I made in Blender. Just a, a lumpy old heart, as you can see. And around that I have a, a collision box. So when you overlap, it can do something. So I've got a on begin overlap. Uh, then I cast to the player to make sure it's only him that gets it. So if it is equal to the player, um, do once, so just once, health up or down, so the health is plus 100, uh, the max is clamped here to the, uh, to the starting health, which is the same as the health total starts at, so then it sets the health total, adds the 100 to it, um, plays the sound at the location and, and then destroys it, so that's, um, now the movement is, is uh, um, run off, uh, let me show you the movement, so to get it to rotate, um, uh, what I have is a timeline which goes from 5 seconds, then, uh, then once it's finished it fires this to keep it rotating, so that's a, just a custom event saying rotate hard again, fires, play from start and it keeps looping. Um, so the the I've done it. What's called a lerp, a linear interpolate. Linear linearly interpolates between A and B based on alpha 100% of A when alpha is zero and 100% of B. So what happens there is it's over five seconds. The alpha gradually goes from zero to four f from that timeline, and then let's just add the delta rotation. So that spins it. Then, to move it up and down, I, I get the start point and then I add 15 um, on the z-axis, which is vertical, to the end point and I move it up and down. Now this timeline's a little different. This one's over 2 seconds and it goes from 0 to 1 and back again. So that plots the curve of the, of the um, they've got little user-based handles, plots the curve of the heart up and down uh, start point and end point, so it's basically where it spawned and then 15 up. So it goes up and then down and then up and down and, and loops. Um, there's a, I've added a delay on the collision, so what was happening when it first spawned, it instantly, uh, I, I'd, I instantly do the pickup, which I didn't like, I wanted you to see it. And so I think three seconds is a long enough uh, delay to stand over it. 
And that's the heart. And then within the character, that, all you got to do is spawn the heart. So I can put those anywhere in the game at any time, uh, either spawn or otherwise. So um, in this case, I've got a death event. So when um, when it's when you reach zero on the health or less, um, I, this is the random side of things. Very <laughs> really really simple. So random integer zero and four. So if it equals three then do this. So that's basically works out because zero is, is like one, it's zero to four, so you've got a twenty five percent chance of it spawning a heart. So do it once so it doesn't keep spawning them every time. And then spawn actor uh, based on the class and then add child actor component. That took me a little while to figure out. Uh, there's the transform, so it's only sixty percent of the original design size. I thought it was a little big. Uh, and then it get the location, spawn at uh, thirty up I don't think that's actually working, to be honest. <laughs> I think it's just spawning. Um, but world location plus 30, I guess it might spawn underground otherwise. So that's all it is. Uh, and, and then you get the uh, the nice rotating heart. Oh, the material, in case you're wondering, because it's so shiny. So shiny. Um, it is. What I have is a clear coat at the shading model and then the base colors are pink, but I've also got a, a metallic and then the clear coat uh, as well as uh, uh, the roughness of the clear coat is zero, so it's really shiny and glowy and like, oh, it's so pretty. Um, just to, you know, I, I tried different things like translucency and glows and all this kind of things and I, I, think, I think just the shiny heart looks the best. All right, so yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, making a pickup. Uh, for anyone you, interested in seeing how it was done. The thing I need to find out, I wouldn't mind if it just slowly rotated. Uh, it sort of goes and then stops and then goes and then stops. I need to work on that one. I've kind of given up on that idea to start with. But one thing I do like, the way the uh, the um, the sunlight kind of looks like a heartbeat. That was a bit more just luck than anything. I don't think it looks too chunky. I could probably make it a little more complicated, but I think it's okay. Oh, and sh over. Re refracting to the shadow, so there you go. There's a heart pickup. So if I make single player levels, I can add. This guy's always got beef. Oh, eight. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching.